Okay, folks, today we're going to look at doing basic math uh, the way that I was taught to do it in about 1979 or 1980 um, in a small rural town south of Arlington, Texas. So we're going to start off with this problem that I found on the internet. Um, and it's a very basic math problem. It's subtraction. So in this subtracting, we're going to take the number 325 and we're going to subtract 38. Now for all those who may have forgotten, this first column here is the ones, the second column here is the tens, and the third column here is the hundreds. Now the way I was taught how to do math is basically is will 5 subtract 8? Or can you subtract 8 from 5? Well the answer is no, so you have to take one from the 10. So we take out the 2, put a 1, that leaves you 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. Will 1 uh, will 3 subtract from 1? Well, the answer is no. So you mark out 3, you put 2. Now you have 11 over here. 11 minus 3 is 8. That leaves you 2. There's nothing to subtract there. The answer is 287. Okay, now that took me a little bit longer because I had to explain it to everybody. But now we're going to look at the way that they want you to do it with the common core counting up method to do subtraction. So you still have your basic little subtraction looking thing going on over here. But what they want you to do is they want to take, make you take 38 right here and they say count up to the nearest 10. So the nearest 10 would be 40. That means you have to take 2 to make 40. Now they want you to count up to the nearest 100 spot over here. So now you have to put on here, okay, well, the child has to sit there and think, well, hmm, 40. 40 plus what um, will make the nearest 100? Okay, well, that, that's going to be 60, right? This is what this, this first or second grader, or maybe even third grader, is supposed to be thinking, is in these bigger numbers versus the smaller one section over here, like what we were doing before. So they get this over here, and that's going to be a 100. So what could possibly be 100 plus what to get to the nearest uh, 300. Well, now they have to think about these over here in hundreds. So like, okay, well, gosh, I guess that's going to be 200, teacher. So we got this going on over here. They say, okay, we got that going on for us. Now count up to the largest number. What, what do you mean count up to the largest number? The largest number of what? Okay, well, I guess they want you to do this 25 here is what they want you to do. So you got your 25 going on here. So that would be your 325 is how you get this. They say, okay, well, make sure you circle this one, circle this one, circle this one, and circle this one. And then you're supposed to take these things that you circled and move them right over here, and you're supposed to add these up. So uh, you got 2 plus 60 plus 200 plus 25 is what you're supposed to get your answer, which we got over here in just mere seconds. So... Two, let's go this down here like this. Let's just make it easy, you know, because you got, you know, little Johnny or Susie there in the second or third grade trying to do this basic stuff. That would equal seven. Six plus two, okay, that's eight. Oh, whew, 287. So it's logical to some moron out there who thinks that this is a good way of doing math versus the basic way of teaching basic subtraction of how to do this. Which one looks easier? This right here to teach them that, hey, 15 minus eight, seven, that's not memorization. That's not members. If all, you know, it, that's that is just very basic stuff for people to have to understand and to learn. And for a guy like me who uh, is now a web developer who writes complex code, who has to do some decision uh, making, some critical thinking to get myself through some of these projects, you know, I sure did come quite a far away from doing it this basic method over here than doing it this way, where you have to count up to add this up to get your basic subtraction. Now I want you people to take this to uh, Arnie Duncan and roll it up in a tight little ball and uh, give it to him any way you want. Because this is the most ignorant thing I've ever seen in my entire life to come up with some sort of, looks like some sort of math trick that somebody would have tried to show you back in the day for those who didn't understand how to do basic math. I want you folks to repeat after me would you like fries with that? Because that is exactly what you're going to be saying 
if you continue to try to teach our children this common core garbage that you got right here versus learning to use your brain like how we were taught as kids. That is all.